Well, and welcome to the One Life Church devotional series where we cover the entire Bible in 20 months. Today's chapters are Isaiah 57 and Revelation chapter 9. Now, I am in a very first world horse stable here in Holland uh, where I'm being hosted. A perfect place to discuss these apocalyptic days. Now, Isaiah 57, just very quickly, this chapter is huge evidence that Isaiah wrote before King Cyrus sent everybody back. You see, critics have said he was so accurate of this prophecy. How could it have been beforehand? Well, in this chapter, in the first 13 verses, we see the very detailed atrocities of Israel before the invasion, not what they did afterwards. And so this is great evidence that it was written beforehand. He describes in detail their idolatry and he calls it adultery. He says, when I see the way you follow these idols, it's like your wife committing adultery. And he gives a very graphic illustration of it. One of the examples he gives there is what they would do with Moloch. Now, Moloch was a Canaanite god that expected the sacrifice of babies. This is how they did it. They heated up uh, bronze statues of Moloch until it was blood red. And then they would put their children on his outstretched arms and they would burn to death. They would beat drums in the background so they wouldn't hear their children dying. Horrific. And uh, God is saying to them, it is disgusting what you are doing. And then the, the last 14 uh, verses, sorry, verse, from verse 14 through to 21, speak about the restoration that happens when repentance takes place. Now, chapter 9 of the book of Revelation uh, talks about the abyss. Now, our friend Luke, who's been going through this uh, series with us, has been asking, what is the abyss? Well, the abyss is a place where the demons are kept temporarily. Uh, until they are thrown into the great lake of fire. You will read about that in 1 Peter 3, 19 and Jude uh, 16. And then this is what it says. The fifth angel sounded a trumpet. Remember, the trumpets are warnings. And I saw a star that had fallen from the sky. Now, that star is the devil himself. He used to br shine brightly, remember? And it's like God's given him access to demons to use them in the last days. The star was given a key to the shift of the abyss is where the demons are kept. And when he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke of a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. Now, whenever the Bible speaks of smoke, it speaks of, speaks of vision being impaired. So there'll be deception. So these demons are going to deceive. And out of the smoke, locusts came out of the earth and were given power like scorpions of the earth. Now, this is language that has been taken from the book of Joel, where there were plagues in Joel. They were told not to harm the grass and the seas and, and the plants. You know, demons don't come after inanimate objects. They go after people, but not those who had the seal of God on their foreheads. So evil spirits can, can, can attack people. They have no legitimate power over God's uh, sons and daughters. Unless we give them access. So in Ephesians chapter 4 says you give the devil a foothold. So he, he intimidates. But he's, he's come to torture and to um, deceive uh, the earth in an unprecedented way. In fact, the agony is so great. It says they will seek death. In other words, there will be suicidal thoughts by some of these people. So, and it says that he was uh, the, the, the star, the, the commander of these, these deceptive demon forces is Abaddon. And in the Greek, Apollon, which is the destroyer, the, the devil himself. So what we've seen is that the first four trumpets were natural disasters on the sea, on the land. The fifth one was a supernatural, demonic deception that comes over the world. And then quite clearly, chapter seven, we'll see it in, uh, sorry, uh, trumpet seven, we'll see it in a few chapters time, is the end of the world. But what is trumpet six? which is going to be the worst of the lot. It says here in verse 12, the first woe is past, the other two woes are yet to come. Then the sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar that is before God. So remember the altar before God is where the incense was, where the prayers of the saints have reached. So perhaps this is in response to this prayers of the saints. And a sixth angel who had the trumpet said this in a loud voice, release, uh, release the four angels who were released to kill a third of mankind. And these people were killed, it says in verse 19, by three plagues. Now, all these illustrations uh, of plagues, of nostrils, of fire, of horse, horsemen, you can see these, that's why I'm standing in the stable here, um, are a picture language of describing 
uh, the spiritual forces behind the destruction that's going to come on the earth. Uh, but, but you just say, but, but why? But why? Well, verse 20 gives us the reason. The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the works of their hands. The reason God is sounding the trumpets, the reason God is allowing calamity, the reason God is allowing the devastation on earth is to get people to come to their senses and realize they don't have the answers and they need to repent and turn to God before that final trumpet blows and the world is drawn to a close.